guys, I got two things to tell you. One, this is the best production knife I've had come in this year. And two, if you have a golden retriever, do not buy black sweatshirts. Let's turn this around and look at the best production knife I've seen this year. Guys, inside this box is the best knife that came in this year. It's the J Cape V4 by Something Obscene. And it is not my knife of the year, but it is the best knife. And I'll explain why as soon as we get this box out of the way. So absolutely the best knife that came in this year. This thing is incredible. It hits all the little buttons, all the little wickets that I want in a knife. But the fact is the availability and the price point kind of meant that the Echo won. The Echo just had it in spades when it came down to everything. But as far as execution and just overall feel and quality, this basically is the, I mean, this is the best knife we've had come in this year. Um, except for like some super high end, like I would consider customs. This is like the best production one because, you know, we did have uh, the, the Lamia, the Lamia from, uh, from Alex Steingrabber that came in, but that's, that's a custom knife when you get down to it. So anyway, this thing is incredible. You've got this beautiful hollow and flat faceted blade done in M390. This thing comes down ridiculously thin. This is one of the best cutting knives we've had on the channel. The cool thing about this is it comes in multiple versions and you can get different inlays for this. These are removable. These are inlays. That is not something that has just been um, like masked off when they did the finish. That is a, a, a satin or stonewashed titanium uh, inlay and then the coated uh, titanium handles. So you basically have a bolster lock here because this inlay that lays over that covers your lock, which means that this thing slides in and out of pocket beautifully. Now, this has this really, really unique pocket clip, but the cool thing is they send it, they send it with an additional set of hardware and a more traditional pocket clip that still has the lightning bolt in it. But I just personally found this pocket clip to be more to my liking. It's not hot. I know it looks like it would be. It's not a hot spot at all. You can't even tell it's there. It's, it's just brilliantly designed. It is in the whole knife is just brilliantly designed. It's about perfect. Um, like I said, this blade is beautiful for cutting. It is really thin behind the edge. The flat, even the flat on it is still not too thick. The action on this is ridiculous. It is super smooth, but it, you've got that just snappy action just slams open and you would expect this to have really heavy lock bar tension no it does not the action on it just comes from the fact that it is that smooth um your lock bar is just about perfect for access to the lock bar for um uh, for disengaging the lock and i wish more companies would take a look at this this is how you do it you don't have to thin that out and open that up you just get it just right you get your lock bar tension your lock bar tension just right and you do a little bit of a functional jimping on it that's not too sharp that is the easiest knife to unlock that I've had on the channel. The flipper tab rolls up and comes up at an angle where it, it's not in your way, even though that's got some aggressive jimping on it. It's not sharp. You've got this area, your fingers drop down into that finger choil, and the whole thing tapers down into that area, a lot like a Koenig Arius, but it's it's kind of terraced. Um, so just beautiful feel in hand. You've got perfect jimping on the thumb ramp here where you just can get up on it and just power down. This thing is nice and thick and beefy. I've got big hands. I like a beefier, thicker knife, but they didn't leave it hard. It's nice and contoured, so it fills your hand really well. Super comfortable. Zero hot spots on this knife. None. Even with the pocket clip that looks like it should in and out of pocket because it's a bolster lock, it just really sits nice on the pocket. They didn't put too much tension on this on this pocket clip and it just slides in out of pocket because you've got this this inlay covering the lock bar and then the other thing is i love the fact that they did go with hidden hardware on this there's a little bit of jimping back here typically not a fan of it but on this knife it looks aggressive typically i don't like jimping for aesthetics but on this it just looks mean this is a mean looking knife uh the broad blade on this Seems like it would make this knife super heavy, but they've removed so much material on this that this is a very nice, easy carry. And the fact is, there's a lot of weight reduction that got done in here. Even with these inlays that have been cut out, you can see here, this one's been cut out. They didn't do it so much on this side, but on this side, definitely did a lot of weight reduction. So you've got a very light knife. This thing just is all that 
I want in a knife. It really, really is. It's it's over the top. It's kind of garish, but still really functional. It looks squat and aggressive with this big broad blade, but it's not like you lose anything. You don't have a heavy, heavy knife that's hard to control. It's not too thick. Slices like a dream. It's going to suck to give this back to its owner, but I'm going to have to. Have I found anything wrong with it? Yeah, there's a couple things, and I'll tell you what they are just in a second. You guys ever reached down to tie your shoes and broken a shoelace? Of course you have. Well, imagine you're out in the middle of nowhere and you've got to have those shoes to get back. If you're hiking or if you're in the military, there's a reason I always carried and had multiple sets of replacement shoelaces. Well, today's sponsor is Tempered Trail. They are giving you guys some of the most durable laces that you're ever going to find. 550 pounds of of strength in those laces. So check them out with the link down below. It saves you 10% at checkout. They are offering a wide variety of colors and lengths. So you just pick the link, you pick the color and you throw them in your shoes. So big shout out to Tempered Trail for sponsoring this video. Guys, let's get back to the knife. So the big one is availability because they were in limited quality quantities, I should say. Um, they were also expensive. This is about 475. They're ranging about uh, just under $500. And that's a lot of money to throw in a, to a production knife. It is done by React. It's done incredibly well. And it was done in quality materials. So, I mean, I'm on the fence of whether I would have purchased this if I had the money. I don't know. It's great. It really is great. I would love to have one, but I don't know if I can justify that price. Next thing, there's nothing really functionally wrong with this knife, period. This thing is incredible, but there is one little spot right here. It's not a hot spot in hand. It's not a comfort issue. You don't feel it when you're cutting, but I will tell you that's really sharp on the edge of that. And it absolutely, you can see it right here. See that little corner? It absolutely just tears up pockets in and out of pocket. If you're carrying this a lot in and out of pocket, the top lip of your pocket is going to just fray up really badly. And the last thing is the lanyard hole. Like, why would you put a lanyard hole on this really good looking knife? It definitely detracts from the lines. There is plenty of space in this backspacer to, to pin one right there. Just put a pin or a post in there. Other knife companies have done it. Just mill it out and then put a, a crossbar post or just have that barrel for that screw wind up being your lanyard post. Other than that, just incredible knife. So many things about this knife just scream that I want this. I just can't, I just can't justify the price. But like I said, this is the best knife this year. It's, it's currently December 2nd. So there could be something that came in that I think would trump it, but I don't know. I'm not sure if there's anything that would be coming in that would really dethrone this as the best knife, not knife of the year, but definitely the best production knife I've had come in this year. So guys, that's it on this one. Definitely a yup for me. I love it when it comes to the price. I'm kind of on the fence, but we'll give it a yup. Check out Machine Machine Co. I know that he's taking a hiatus, but he have, might have some stuff on his site that you're interested in. And guys, let's turn us around and do some final thoughts. Send you out about your day. Guys, oh, all, all joking aside, all honesty, this is an incredible knife. Uh, I, you know, the price point and everything is kind of a bummer, but like, really? I think it's worth it. I think it's worth it if it's something you're going to use all the time. If this was something that you're going to get and just add to your collection, I don't know if I could justify that price, but it is incredible. Uh, it is an amazing knife. Super impressed from the day it got here. Uh, I, I kind of had a feeling that this would stay at the top of the heap. Not knife of the year. There were a lot of criteria that got figured into knife of the year, but absolutely amazing. So guys, that's it on this one. You know what to do. Ads were in the video. I've got sponsors. Give a like. Check out the sponsors. Two of them have discounts built in. Create Coffee Brand Coffee and Temper Trail have discounts built in. I can save you 40% over at uh, Beyond EDC with my coupon code Crazy Sharp, all one word, all lowercase. Uh, that also works at Fair and Force Knife Works and Rosecraft Blades. It'll save you 10% there. Definitely check out Rosecraft Blades. They do not get the they do not get the exposure and and respect that they're due. Those knives are great. Uh, 
There is uh, affiliate links down below for most of the major vendors. I've added a couple. I've got Kaiser now. You can go down there, take any of those links, use them to purchase knives. Doesn't cost you anything. I just get a portion of it. Check out, same with my Amazon store, sports channel. Use that for any Amazon shopping you do. Make that your default uh, portal into Amazon. Check out my memberships. Uh, I do giveaways. I've got a private Discord. I do exclusive content. They get to see the B-roll when I can't talk. Um, and there is a public uh, Discord that I've built for everyone. You can see that down below where it says join the community. Guys, that's it on this one. I love y'all. Have a happy new year. This is coming up on the end of the year. It's winding to a close. So hopefully you had a good year. If it's your birthday, happy birthday. I love you all and I'll see you in the next video.